Uh, Sam, uh, you were in a very hairy situation earlier in Dakar. We joined you and uh, uh, you've been witness to a whole lot of detentions. Just uh, paint a picture for me right now. It was absolute chaos on the streets of Dakar on Sunday afternoon. And the arrest of those two opposition candidates uh, really was kind of the tip of the iceberg. I've rarely seen so much tear gas uh, deployed on a crowd. Uh, there were small fires kind of breaking out all over the place. The demonstrators set up barricades in the road. Uh, the police blocked them from attending the space that was kind of officially designated uh, as the protest site. Uh, journalists were pre prevented from doing their work. Uh, we arrived uh, at the site uh, where the protest was due to take place and were immediately pushed back um, by the gendarmes which had been deployed. And not only that, a local broadcaster, WAF TV, says it's had its broadcast license revoked. But all in all, uh, if I had to kind of summarise, I would say what we've seen this afternoon is pretty indicative of what we've seen happening in Senegalese democracy for a couple of years now uh, in terms of harsh policing, um, the prevention of the peaceful uh, right of assembly and the detention, as we've mentioned, of, of opposition figures. It's kind of, it's got it all. Uh, Sam, President Macky Sall himself has been very much anti uh, these uh, militias which have erupted in Mali, Burkina Faso and the likes. Uh, but now there is uh, there are many who are going to be pointing the finger at him saying he's not upholding what uh, ECOA stands for and uh, what he has been preaching. Yeah, it's difficult to see how Macky Sall and how Senegal more generally um, who once held a really important position within the regional bloc ECOWAS and within the African Union more widely, can now legitimately criticise military regimes in places like Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Niger. Um, when many domestic critics, critics here in Senegal, would say, well, actually, what's happening here uh, is a power grab and we're turning more towards a kind of authoritarian leadership style. Um, so, yeah, certainly I think Senegal's international reputation will be somewhat damaged uh, after what we've seen, not only on Sunday afternoon, but really over the past couple of years.